No, guys, today I will be diverting a bit from what I normally teach. Um, as a teacher, I think financial education is very, very important. Not just for students, but for everyone. As I analyze this big thing about Usain Bolt and SSL, now, guys, investment is risky. Investing in a bank is risky. Investing your money in stocks is risky. Investing your money in real estate comes with risk. Keeping your money at home comes with risk. What do we do? Keeping your money in the bank, you end up losing. It's a sure way to lose some of your money. Investing in stocks is a gamble. Especially if you're not if you're not financially literate and you will trust those investors or those money managers. No. Something we need to know about investment is that those money managers they are there to make money. They are there to secure their jobs. And in most cases, they will not have or do not have your best interest at heart. So as an investor or someone who has accumulated some money and you decide that you want to do something with it, you have to be smart. You have to read, watch videos. Financial advisors, they are there to secure their job. They are there to ensure that things look good, their quarterly return looks good. All right. Investment, to me, investment is like scribing your name on a sand. You have low risk investment, the bank will tell you, you have your low risk investment, your high risk investment. They will first give you a little interview and ask you to decide what do you want. Now, investment to me is like, it's practical. It's like writing your name on the sand hoping that the tide doesn't rise and, and uh, I'm erasing. Financial advisors, their job mainly is to analyze the tides, determine when the tide is high, when the tide is low, where we're on the shore, which area, which geographical area experiences lower tide when. Now, for the so-called safe safe investment like bonds government papers in those cases that is synonymous to you scribing your name further away from the shore yeah we're in um the the, the tide seldom reaches but there is still some risk some possibility that the tide might just rise and reach it you can experience a experience a storm in which case the tide rises you can experience a tsunami which is very rare that also causes the tide to rise no risky investors higher risk comes with higher return higher risk persons are the one who decide that you know what I'm gonna scrap my name closer to the shoreline hoping that the tide doesn't rise and wipe up my wipe up my investment. Middle risk investment are persons who say that, that well the tide seldom reaches here or this time of the year or in this region the tide doesn't reach this year so I'm gonna in, I'm gonna scrap my name at this location. We have some persons who scrap their name right across which is somewhat parallel to the tide those comes with those come with a higher return but greater risk now you have some person who say you know what you know what this is the tide i'm gonna invest i'm gonna invest like this put some here put some here put some up here so as the tide rises i have some chance of saving or securing some of my money Right, so look at investment as that, that it's a risk 
that you have to be willing to take. Always make calculated risk. And you know what, person have this thing, this illusion of investment that, hey, once you invest, you're guaranteed to make money. No, you're not. It's a reason why governments do not charge persons interest on the fee, so-called money that you have in the bank or you have invested. No. They only charge you tax on that money when you withdraw that money. You know why? Because they know that the money that you have investment, you have, you have invested is really and truly a phantom money. It's really not yours. And you have persons who have invested millions and they, they lose everything. The stocks went down, things happen and they have lost everything. Persons, I mean, steal the money, stocks don't perform, other things happen. Co I mean, company apply for bankruptcy and that's it. The money goes. So we have to be smart. Think before you invest. And remember, those investors are there to make money. Those are those, um, not investors. Those financial advisors, most of them, they are crooks. Most of them are thieves. Note, some of them you know, will know that the product is not good. And they will encourage you to invest in it. They know that the product is not going to perform, but they still let you keep your money there instead of selling off those stocks. Those stocks, why? Because when the stock is there, they're here, that's how they make their money, some of them. You're, you pay a percentage on the money that is there. Once you withdraw the money, they're not getting that, that money anymore. Not good for business. Be smart, be a wise investor. Let's use Elon Musk for example. I was really reading the news recently and I said that he has lost a significant portion of his investment, of his wealth per se. Why? Because one of his major um, companies that he has invested in, the stock price went down, Tesla. So be careful, be wise. Take time out to research, read, watch videos, read books, listen to different persons. You know, when I listen to most of these persons, when they say invest, invest, invest. Yes, you must invest, but you must invest wisely. You must analyze the stock market. Don't let people trick you. You know what? I will be making some more videos on this investment thing because I think there are a lot of things that persons need to know. No. I would encourage persons to look at Warren Buffett's method of investment. He's, he's I think, among the top three wealthiest persons in the world. And he gains all his money through that investment. What? He reads. As an investor, you must read. You must be able to follow certain principles. You have to be patient. Unless you have those things, you will run into a problem. Take it from this teacher. We don't only teach technical stuff, but we understand the business as well. Peace out.